Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome to the Fashion Bunker. Great, quick, snappy, snippy announcement. Chanel has announced its brand new Les Exclusives perfume from the Les Exclusives range. A perfume from their range, the ranged perfume. God, I hate this combination of words. Anyway, the boy. And I hate saying Le Boy. It's not Le Boy, it's just boy. And it comes from Boy Capel and uh, it's out in France. As we speak, the rest of the world will have to wait a little until it kicks in. I do not have it yet. The review will come ASAP because I guess what? Chanel has been listening to me. <laughs> Somehow I have a sneaky suspicion that somebody has been watching my videos. Hence this genderless perfume. But uh, Olivier Polch, who is the, the, the son of Jacques Polch, created this perfume. He's the new head perfumer of the House of Chanel. Let's read together what he has to say about Boy. Inspired again by Boy Capel, who was Chanel's, one of Chanel's loves. One, well, maybe her biggest love. Uh, and then I'll have, a, I'll have something to say about it. I'll forget. If I forget, whatever, don't kill me. So, what does he say? The idea, I think, was in the house for a long time, said the perfumer, who transported an idea from Chanel fashion. Okay. My way of working on this fragrance was really not to try to make a unisex fragrance, but really more to dive into men's fragrance and to show how well it could be worn by a woman. So, it was not to try to create an in-between fragrance, but a very masculine fragrance. And like many other things in life, gender is given by the person wearing it. A very sophisticated way of saying... You created a CK1, Olivier, basically. Nevertheless, I love that you're trying, and I love that there is some sort of mix and match going on here. And I love the fact that the announcement of this perfume has excited me so much that this is indeed the first fragrance review I have ever made without a fragrance, without ever even smelling the fragrance. So it won't be a review about the fragrance, but it will be a review about the concept. And um, first off, he also mentioned, you know, the, the girl wearing the shirt of her boyfriend. A lot of cliches put in the mix because nowadays the guy can be wearing the girl's, his girlfriend's shirt when he goes to work after he wakes up. Why not? Why does it have to be the girl wearing the guy's? This cliche of the woman wearing the macho male stuff and feeling all protected and cozy. Such bullshit. But at the same time, a nice approach rather than just saying it's a unisex perfume. This is more kind of like a male perfume for women. But then at the same time, we have this quote, gender is given by the person wearing it. That is a beautiful thing to say, Olivier. Kudos to you. Gender is given by the person wearing it. Gender is given by the person wearing it. Perfection. I can repeat another 50 billion times. Now, didn't forget what I wanted to say before, but I said I'll say it later. I'm saying it now. Um, legend wants it that after uh, Boy Capel's death uh, in an accident, Chanel was so devastated that uh, she created the little black dress in that moment and, and, and said to, to herself and to the world, the whole, the, in the entire world, every single woman is going to mourn the loss of Boy Capel and they will wear black. It's a myth. On several occasions, it has been demystified, but I still love to believe that it's true. So I'm just going to go with that myth. You can go with another myth. And following that particular myth, Olivier, I know it's too late, but if it's not too late for other countries, think about what I'm giving to you. A free tip, no charge. The packaging of, you know, the box, you know, the, the, the exclusives boxes in which uh, the Chanel exclusive perfumes come in, the classic old school white carton paper boxes with a little black frame on the bottom and the black frame. Anyway, I would invert that and make the packaging black in honor of 
Boy Capel and in honor of the little black dress that is by mythology connected to Chanel wanting all the women to wear black after uh, Boy Capel's passing away. Think about that. Wouldn't that be a beautiful exception to this kind of range of, I don't know how many we have now, 14 or 15 uh, Chanel exclusive perfumes, all dressed in their white boxes and all considered to be female perfumes. None of them state that they're unisex, even though they are, um, or genderless. Uh, and then have that one boy dressed in black. I think that would be extremely poetic and beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Share this video to let everybody know that boy is coming. And um, subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more. I'm definitely getting Boy, if not just for the sake of its name and heritage. And then we'll see what I think about it once it's not in my hands, but once it's all over my body. <laughs> love you all. Take care. Don't forget, never give up on love. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So come on over, guys, and join the fun.